Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I am here today to introduce you to our newest team member. This is Craig Christofferson, and he is going to be joining the team and helping me out on a variety of different levels. And so I'm going to give you a, ask Craig a few questions here and just kind of uh, get him introduced to you as the audience. And we'll talk a little bit about some of the areas where he's going to kind of fill out what we are doing and hopefully uh, to start to expand towards being able to do even more in the future. And so I think this is going to be a great addition to the team. So Craig, um, first of all, uh, Tell me a little bit about your your kind of background with you know photography, videography, you know those kind of things. Where your interests have been in the past? Yeah, so I mean, actually, even in high school, there was some group projects that we did, and so I was kind of interested in, with video even back then. Um, and then that kind of got more channeled and focused whenever I went to college, and I took television broadcasting at Algonquin College and graduated with a diploma there. So that was it was a lot of fun. It was. It's really cool. Great. Well, the very fact that he has a diploma in anything uh, television, video, or photography related means that he is more qualified than what I am to do this job. As some of you may know at this point, I actually have no qualifications to do what I do. And so uh, I said to bring somebody on the team who's actually qualified to do this. It's an amazing thing with the whole... Uh, internet and the YouTube space, which, which is kind of interesting in that, uh, it, you know, it used to be that this kind of industry, really your, your kind of credentials is what allowed you to succeed in an industry like this. But we were mentioning just kind of in, in dialogue the other day that, you know, out of your class, people that wanted to go into the industry, those that actually get credentials, it's been pretty hard for people to break into the industry. It really has. It's been a lot of kind of connection based, really. I, through college, there were opportunities to go and, and do placements uh, at different television stations, whether it was TSN or CBC, and those placements were really valuable in gaining that experience, but it didn't necessarily always follow through mm -hmm. uh, with actual job placement. So it's, it's pretty tough to break into. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I mean, that's kind of the weird thing about the whole YouTube experience in general is that, you know, very often people that are, are great successes on YouTube mm -hmm. They don't really necessarily have any kind of, of past history in the industry. Yeah. They don't have any kind of real qualification. So it's, it's, it's a weird dynamic in the world that we, we kind of, the space that we occupy these days where mm -hmm. it's very much about opportunity. Um, you know, I think on YouTube, it's, it's often personality driven, yeah. which mm -hmm. um, as many of you know that come to this channel, it's a little bit less um, personality driven <laughs> around here because I don't exactly have those big, you know, headlines like mm -hmm. Dustin Abbott smashes Sony, you know, yeah. or, uh, but very, very often it's those kind of channels that are very successful on YouTube. So it's, uh, unfortunately it's a, it's a medium that sometimes rewards, uh, hype and, um, mm -hmm. you know, and clickbait. Yeah, a <laughs> um, lot of um, overselling. You gotta yeah. make sure that your thumbnails in like massive bold letters. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so I, this, this is kind of like the anti YouTube channel in that traditional <laughs> kind of sense. And that it really, what we're trying to do here is to bring a well-informed balanced perspective on things. Mm -hmm. And, and I don't consider my role, um, and you know, thus our role in what we're doing. We're not here to try to sell people a product. We're yeah. really trying to do the best that we can to help people to be informed mm -hmm. about making that decision. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that I've, you know, I've often said to people, people ask me questions about, you know, say like they've got, they own this lens, like, well, should I sell this lens? And should I buy this new one you're talking about? And one of the first things I ask people is, well, are you unhappy with what you have? Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, it's just kind of an ironic place to be in a, a kind of a gear tech driven channel space that you know sometimes we lose sight in the midst of all the gear about at the end of the day it's uh, it, it's, it's about the artist you yeah. know yeah. and so I mean you've been able to produce some really great looking pro, uh, projects in the past and it's not you've been not been doing that with a lot of high-end gear no so uh, tell us a little about about some of the things that you've done in the past and yeah so in the past actually it's mostly just been um, recreational <laughs> driven projects that I've, I've done. Um, there was one time whenever I went and visited my friend in France and we went and we climbed Mont Clapier 
and it overlooks into the the Italian border. And mm -hmm. so I brought the drone along and and filmed our our journey there and, and made a video about it. And that had some really nice shots. And then another one was just a vacation to Prince Edward Island. And Prince Edward Island is always just so naturally beautiful. Right. And I had the freedom to to just drive around wherever I wanted and and go and catch the sunsets at the lighthouses. And so that was something else that I was, I was really happy uh, with as well. Absolutely. And I think that that's, that's something that I hope to tap into and what you bring into this is a, you know, a, a passion for, you know, just creation. And, mm -hmm. and while a big part of what I do is, is bring some of the technical aspects and, you know, at this point, you know, although I've, I've already confessed to being unqualified to, to do what I do, I do at this point have a, a lot of, of practical experience. I, mm -hmm. sometimes I think about the amount of, of lenses that I have reviewed over the last, you know, however number of years, and it, it's it's kind of shocking, mm -hmm. you know, how much things flow through. Right? Because this industry, it's 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 constantly driven by by new, new, new yeah. all the time. And so, what I, I hope to to bring as as a part of perspective to that is is not just the, the technical aspect of this, but the creation. You know, opportunities that come mm -hmm. uh, with various pieces of gear. And so, I mean, we, we've talked before about some of the, but just to let the audience know, some of the things that I'm hoping that to Craig can bring is some of those, those technical, some of the technical skills, certainly, but also the, the creative side of uh, taking some of the gear that we look at and being able to focus more on video. Mm -hmm. I, I try to fill in the blanks with video, but uh, those of you that are regular followers of this channel know that I am, I'm a photographer first and a videographer uh, a very distant second. And so uh, Craig has more experience than what I, I do with video creation and I think more skills that I do than what I have with that. And so I'm hoping to be able to bring a little bit more of a video perspective on some of the the uh, gear. And then our, our hope is is that obviously I've got a limited amount of time and I have a really high demand for the uh, for projects. And so I um, you know, every day I, I wake up to basically solicitations from all kinds of companies that, you know, that want me to take a look at something. And obviously I have to say no a lot of times, mm -hmm. but it's, it's my hope that with Craig on board, that there will be some things that I can say yes to and put in his hands and bring to you on this channel. And if it seems like where there's not enough timing space, we may launch uh, probably a plan to launch a, a second channel to be able to put some of those, you know, other things there. So if you're interested in that, we'll, we'll be talking to you about it and uh, we'll be able to bring some uh, I think different kinds of projects uh, to there. And if you, so if you want to see more, it will be there as an opportunity. The other thing that you will find about Craig is that he's got a great uh, sense of humor. And, uh, and so I'm hoping to be able to tap into a little bit of that as we, we kind of work the creative juices moving ahead <laughs> and, and to have some fun uh, with that. I have been told a few times uh, by people in the audience that uh, I need to smile every now and then. And so that always strikes me as odd because I, I don't think that I'm angry while I'm reviewing <laughs> this stuff. But I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there's a problem there. So anyway, uh, you may have to bring some, some laughter to the equation there and so that we have fun in doing this yeah. and so anyway i i'm really excited to have craig as a part of the team full disclosure craig is my nephew by yeah. marriage and and so um he has also become a part of the team here locally with the church that i pastor and he is also a minister he's had a chance to live abroad he lived in uh, stockholm sweden for Three years. Three years. Yeah. And so it's only in the last year that he's come back to uh, North America, gotten married, and <laughs> I managed to snatch him up and bring him here. And so he is a, he's a Canadian by birth, but he's had some experience traveling to other places. And some of that will uh, come into play. And I know that there are plenty of Swedes out there that uh, you've written to me in times past. And so I know that there's a great photography community in Sweden. And so anyway, um, Craig's has much more experience in Sweden than what I do. And so anyway, and it's and I know that our audience is very diverse people from around the world. And that is to me, that's the coolest thing about uh, doing what I do, what we do, yeah. is that there is this opportunity to really connect with people uh, literally in a global sense. And in an average month on this channel, just looking at the stats, there's uh, basically almost every country in the world, there's somebody out there at least that, that is watching and participating. And that's, mm -hmm. that to me, that's just a mind blowing, very cool thing yeah. about this. And so uh, there really is something about any kind of shared passion that brings people together mm -hmm. all around the world. 
and uh, photography is certainly one of those things. So we hope to be able to connect with you in, in different ways moving ahead and it will just kind of op open up some more creative space for the ways that we interact and the, the methods that we do. And so stay tuned for all of that. But anyway, I hope that you will enjoy as much as I'm looking forward to having uh, Craig Christofferson as a part of the team. So as always, thanks for watching today. And if you uh, uh, haven't already, you can click that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the bell so you get notifications when new content drops and we'll also throw into the link and share some information on how you can follow Craig on social media and check uh, him out there. And so anyway, we encourage you to stay tuned as a lot of great developments are coming in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day and let the light in.